and friends welcome back to my channel planty princess 92 my name is Ashley and today we are going to be cleaning the inline fan and carbon filter in my vivo sun grow tent so a lot of this video I will kind of just be speeding through some of the more lengthier processes this doesn't really take too long but if it's something a little bit longer um, I'm gonna just speed it through. You'll be able to see what I'm doing. I'll kind of explain what I'm doing, give you little tips on how to clean your inline fan and filter. And then we will change out the pre-filter on this carbon filter and get it all put back together. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. A couple important things you are going to need for this is you will definitely need some kind of brush to dust out all the icky yucky uh, buildup that is on the inside of your fan. I also have a little toothbrush just in case there's any smaller finer spots I need to get into with a brush. I have a power drill to unscrew this as well as a couple screwdrivers just in case i'm going to go ahead and start with the screwdriver just because if you're if you have too much twerk on your power drill you can strip these screws if you know what you're doing and you turn that twerk down which i also did you should be fine but i just want to make sure that you're super careful when using a power drill to undrill the screws to your fan so again i'm going to use this screw here or the screwdriver here now, the only screws you need to unscrew are the ones that are around this lip or band here. There are two screws right here that are, depending on how you're holding your fan, mine are below. If you're holding it oppositely, they will be above, but they are not on the band. You do not need to worry about those or unscrew those. Just the few screws that are lying on the band. Those are what you need to be unscrewing. Can already see some of the build up on that. All right, so there are four screws on my fan, they're all undone. You just want to kind of carefully pop that off now i have had this fan up installed and running in my grow tent for uh six and a half months and there's actually not too much buildup in here this buildup is very flammable though so i do run this pretty much 24 7. i think there's maybe eight hours maybe not even overnight that it is turned off or throughout the day that it is turned off. I have it set on a timer, but for the majority of the day it is running. So for the past six and a half months, this is nearly nonstop been running and there really isn't too much buildup. Um, if you have maybe more plants or than I do in my grow tent at the moment, maybe your buildup would be a little more accumulated than mine is but you just want to make sure you're checking this you're not leaving it running too long with so much buildup in it that way it is not a fire hazard to you or to your plants in your grow tent so as you see here there's not much build up there's a little white uh little dust that you may or may not be able to see with the camera because there's really not that much of it in here on the lid anyways but you'll definitely be able to see it in the fan here so around the fan which spins so you can spin it around to clean it around the fan you see all that build up um, even down in here you can see there's a lot of build up and this honestly like I said for six months running isn't that bad I would definitely recommend cleaning this every six months to a year i definitely wouldn't let it go past a year like i said especially if you are running this most of the time like myself and if you have a lot of plants or you know um i have a lot of semi-hydro plants in there so there's a lot of that water that's getting evaporated into the air causing a lot of extra muck to kind of get sucked out of the grow tent 
but you just want to make sure you're cleaning this an appropriate amount so that way like i said it is not a fire hazard for you now i am just going to go ahead and go through with the brush kind of just wipe this all off this part is really simple Now there is some spaces, there is the small spaces in here that I can't get with this big brush, but also my brush is too thick to even get, I guess I could squeeze it in there. But I will also use the toothbrush to get anything that I can't get out with this big brush. You can see it all kind of just hanging out at the bottom here. Also, you don't want to worry too much. Um, the goal of this mainly is to get all of this loosened up because after you're done cleaning it, wiping it down, you'll go ahead and plug it in with the face still off. And once it gets running, that will blow any excess of this off of the fan itself. So the main goal is you just wanna make sure you get really in all those creases and get everything basically just loosened up. Also, another quick disclaimer really quick. This does let off a lot of dust, a lot of fumes. If that's something that will bother you, you would want to wear a face mask to prevent breathing in any of that gunk that's kind of coming up into the air. Okay, so each of these individual little panels in here, they're kind of hard to see, but each of these little slots, I thought they were actually white. They're actually so dusty that they look white. I'm just getting in there and getting as much loose as I can. And so far, all that came off of it and there's still tons of those little slots left that are pure white. Again, so much in there so I think for the most part I have it pretty loosened up I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and we'll kind of see what else comes out of here just check out what all came out of here just with me doing clearing with the brush this whole pile of stuff right here and nasty so we're gonna go ahead and turn this thing on and you just want to make sure you're holding it you want to keep your fingers out of the inside while you're doing this you want to hold it either by the power pack or the hanging um, strip here 
and you want to make sure it's away from your face not pointed towards your face or anybody else's that way when it blows out it doesn't blow in your face or anybody else's um, I'm not sure which way it sucks and blows so I'm going to make sure I'm gonna hold it like this so either way it's not going in my face I'm also going to put my shirt above my nose just to prevent anything from going in my face. All right, so you just let it run for about a minute there, and that was enough to blow everything out. I don't know if you were able to see it on camera, but when I turned this thing on, a big cloud of white smoke came coming right out of this thing so this doesn't have to be perfect i still see little spots of white little build up in here but like i said the majority of it is out and that's the most important part i'm gonna go ahead and just wipe the inside of this down with a wet paper towel i don't know if you can use windex or anything like that on it so to be safe i am only going to use and I would only recommend using water, maybe water with a little bit of soap at the most. I am just using pure water though. Also another reason why it is a better decision to just use water is even when chemicals dry, the scent of them are still going to be in there and because this is a fan, it's going to either blow it out into the room or into around my plants and I don't want those chemicals in the air for my plants to absorb up into their leaves and their stems and get into the soil and get into their roots. That's something you definitely don't want as well. So that's another really important reason why you should probably just use water for this part. Going through here with this paper towel is really getting all the extra stuff that was kind of just laying down at the bottom. So I was originally only going to just do the lid, but I figured I'd run through the whole fan just to get all the little stuff that is still kind of just hanging out in there. All right, now before I put this back together, I'm going to let it dry out because it's electrical. You definitely don't want to plug anything in or let anything running that is electrical and wet. So I'm gonna let this dry out while I go ahead and finish up everything else that I wanted to clean up today. So we'll put this off to the side and we will let this air out. Shouldn't take too long because I only use a damp cloth. So now the carbon filter is probably the easier part to clean. I just got an extra pre-carbon filter. I've read that you can wash these, but I just wasn't too sure about how well that would work, if that was the best thing to do. These are relatively inexpensive. I got a six inch pre-filter for $8.99, so $9. And to me, I would rather just get that and replace the whole thing rather than go through having to wash this, worry about if it falling apart, worry about it being um, negative and having a negative effect on the filter. So I just got a new one. So we're just gonna take this off of here. And there's still buildup, white buildup, that's kind of coming off of here. You can kind of see it building up on my sweatshirt. Again, if there's something that bothers you, you would want to continue to keep your mask on through this entire process. So this is now inside out. And you can see how nasty and dirty 
this is. You can actually tell this is the part that was around the rim where it wasn't actually getting sucked into the filter. And here you can see the line difference from what was actually getting built up onto this filter. So that's how dirty it is. This is almost pure white. This is all yucky. So we're gonna go ahead and throw this right in the garbage. And with my brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and dust this off as best as possible. And that's it for that part. Also gonna take just the tiniest bit of water and just wipe the metal part. Nothing inside though, that way it doesn't have to dry. I am just going to do the outside just cause it's all dusty. So now we are going to go ahead and put our pre-filter back onto our carbon filter, which is really simple. You just slip it on over the top. And that pretty much does it. Now you are ready to go ahead. Once your inline fan is dry, you can go ahead and put this back together and you are ready to hang this stuff back up into your grow tent. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're interested in the content I provide. And as always, every plant's a princess. Bye.